Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today I am bringing you the top three best and most overpowered Warzone classes. On top of showing you guys these top three classes, I will also be showing you all some variations so that you can make it suit yourself better. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into this video. So like I mentioned, I have three different classes here. Two of them are AR classes and the last one is an SMG class. But to start off, we're going to be jumping into the M4A1. Now I'm sure that a lot of y'all know just how overpowered this class setup is. Just the M4 in general, it's just extremely overpowered. I've been using this class setup since Warzone came out and I've barely changed anything. First, you're going to put on the stock M16 Grenader, which helps with your damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. All very big things when it comes to Warzone. Next, I put on the Thermal Hybrid Scope. This is completely up to you. Usually, I always run some kind of thermal on one of my guns. Whether I'm running a sniper and putting thermal on there, I just always run one. And then the hybrid is great since you just can switch to a regular reflex sight and it's it's amazing. I love it. Next, I run the commando foregrip to help with the recoil. The 60 round mag, just because I hate running out of ammo and in warzone when you run out of ammo, that's usually pretty bad. And last but not least, I run the stippled grip tape to help with my aim down sight speed. Once again, this is the class setup that I've been using for a very, very long time. It is so extremely overpowered. It kills so fast. I would honestly be disappointed in you if you did not have at least one M4 class. For my secondary, I'm running the HDR. Now this is completely personal preference when it comes to this gun. One of the big things that is going on right now is taking off overkill. We can put restock and putting on the 357s and putting dual wield on. Now this also works perfect. It <laughs> really does. But unfortunately, I know that they said that they're going to be nerfing this soon. So I would definitely look for some alternatives for when they do. Also, a lot of the times people will keep overkill on and put some kind of SMG class. I'll show you which SMG class I'm using later, and then you can mix match these two together, and it creates a pretty OP class setup. Next for my perks, I'm running EOD so that I don't die from C4s and RPGs as easily. It's just extremely annoying, and I would highly recommend running this. And then of course I'm running Overkill since I have that second primary weapon. If you're not running that, you can either run Ghost, or restock is really, really nice. Point Man also gives you more money from completed missions, but honestly, I don't do enough missions that it's really worth my time to run that. And last but not least, I run Shrapnel so that I can have another C4 or another explosive or technically a lethal. A lot of people also run Amped so that you can switch your weapons faster, which is also great. But having that additional C4 is just, again, extremely overpowered. Next, we're moving on to the Growl 556. Now, as you can see here, I have the Growl and then also that dual wield 357s, which is extremely overpowered. Again, switch that out for whatever you wish. For the Growl, I run the Monolithic Suppressor. This gives me extra damage range, and of course it's harder to be heard or seen, which is really great. Then I run the Tempest 26.4 inch Arch Angel Barrel. That just sounds like an amazingly cool barrel. Like, what barrel is called an Arch Angel Barrel? That's pretty cool. Now, I don't run any kind of optic sight. I think that the iron sights on this is just amazing that it doesn't need it, but that's going to be up to you if you want to run that. Next, I run the underbarrel commando foregrip to help with, again, recoil control. I've seen a lot of people put on the Cronin Shark 2, which just helps with more control than the commando foregrip. But the Commando Foregrip helps with more accuracy and range, which we're really going for. Next, I run the 50 round mags. You can run the 60 round mags if you want. Either or works. Again, the more ammo that you have in your magazine, the less that you have to reload, and you're able to get those kills a lot easier. Next, for my rear grip, I run the XRX Void 2. This is going to be like the stippled grip tape. It's going to help with your aim down sight speed. Again, this is one of my other favorite guns to use. I use this in multiplayer. I use this in Warzone. The Growl is very, very overpowered. 
I believe that the M4 does better closer range compared to the Growl, but further range the Growl can get those kills faster. Once again, I have on the 357s dual wield, completely up to you what you want to run there, and I'm glad that everything is black and not wanting to show up. Thank you. Next, my perks stay the same. My lethal is the C4. I guess I didn't go over that with the last one, but it's the same thing. And the heartbeat sensor. This tracks anybody that's nearby, and it's, again, very OP, just like the rest of this. The C4 is insanely OP, which also brings me to the point that you could throw on a secondary RPG, which... <sighs> Please don't. <laughs> I'm tired of RPGs. But the RPG is extremely overpowered, definitely another way to get a lot of kills. Last but not least, we're moving on to my MP7 class. Now, I feel like the MP7 and the MP5 are kind of interchangeable when it comes to what you should be using. They're both extremely overpowered. They're both really nice to use, low recoil. But I think that the MP7 just has been doing better for me in-game. First, for my muzzle, I run the compensator to help with that recoil control, able to hit those further shots without having to worry about as much recoil. Then for my barrel, I run the FSS Recon, which again, recoil control, damage range, and bullet velocity, all very, very important. Now, once again, I think that the iron sights are great. Personal preference, you can run an optic if you would like. Next, I run the Merc Foregrip for my underbarrel, which helps with hip fire accuracy and your recoil control. Next, again, the 50 round mags, you can run the 60 if you like. Personal preference, I find that the 50 is just better for mobility than the 60. And usually I don't use those 10 extra rounds anyways. Last but not least, again, the stippled grip tape, extremely important. That in down sight speed, that sprint to fire speed, so important. Once again, my secondaries, my perks, my lethals, my tacticals don't change at all. Those are pretty much set in stone, of course, unless you want to run amped or you have an overkill for the secondary. You can even put on the M4, like I was saying, just change it up or a secondary growl or for one of the other classes, throw on an MP5, MP7. It's what a lot of pros do, run a primary AR and then a secondary SMGs. Very good idea, but all, again, down to personal preference. But anyways, this will be the end of my top three best Warzone classes video. Let me know what you guys think, and as always, I love you guys, I appreciate you guys, and I will see y'all in the next one.